Welcome back to Diddly Squad Gaming, where today we are continuing our hell day. <laughs> this truck uh, has to make it all the way up to the lumber warehouse. Or I, I guess it's just a warehouse. But that's where we're dropping off our lumber today. And uh, yeah, we're going to have... Uh, we're going to have a grand old time. So, let's uh, get underway. We're just going to go ahead and lock up uh, all-wheel drive right now. Diff lock is always locked, but it... Uh, the diff lock is not nearly as good as it is on the uh, P16. So I do... I, I, I do wish the P16 had a mod and it probably does have a mod, but I, I wish it did have the ability to have all-wheel drive. Uh, just because it... It really does need it, especially in this game. Like, I, I know it doesn't have it in real life. Um, although I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody out there hasn't put all-wheel drive on a P16. Or whatever their uh, real-life counterparts are. I don't, I, don't, I don't quite remember if they're... Uh, if it is called a P16 in real life, but there is definitely a truck that is modeled on it. Uh, anyways. Uh, I, I, I kind of wish now I knew more about all these trucks that I'm driving, because unfortunately, I don't. I don't I don't know which ones are real, I don't know which ones are completely made up. I know most of the, the trucks, if not all the trucks in this game, are made up, or made, or based on <laughs> uh, real life trucks, so... But anyways, let's get uh, this show on the road because we're going to uh, we're going to need it. Is it this path there? It, it is that path. Okay. Now I'm almost ah, that ice looks so sketchy through here. We could easily cross probably here. To this road but then this bridge is out anyways but is it out could we not just sneak on this side of the track I don't I don't think I want to test it um, you know what? we'll see how it does here if it looks like the ice will be a better route Cause this, this right here is just a rock field. Oops. Little, little bit of rub in there, never hurt anyone. Uh, come on. I... I'm going ice. Why am I zoomed in so close? Oh, that's sketchy. This is, uh... Is this not the breakable ice? Yep. That is... Pure breakable ice. And you're telling me it's... It's too late. Oh, I should have trusted my gut. My gut said it was breakable ice. Alright, let's go forward and then back it up. See if we can get out that way. There we go. Alright. That looks like solid ice over there. Let's let's try this route. All right, well that's that's definitely breakable ice. We can at least make it to that telephone pole. Maybe that one. 
Hmm. Come on. Yeah, let's see if we can back out. Let's see if we can go forward. We have no winch points. We are... just inches away from that pole. Alright, if you guys go this route, definitely shoot for that pole right there. Because I think if I was pointing more straight, I'd be able to get out. Alright, let's see, is there anything I can do? Gotta find this grip. There's gotta be grip here. Uh, can we use... Oh, wait a minute, hold on a second. How do I extend the... There we go. <laughs> Okay, we can't break the, the ice with this, but can we? Try to get the truck... ...some traction. No. Let's, uh, restore crane, and then gun it. We had a little pop. Alright, well, big surprise there. <laughs> uh, should we send the Zeke's down? You know what, let's... Let's send the Zeke down. We need, we're, we're gonna need fuel regardless. So I think if we just go ahead and start our rescue mission now. I should have I should have just stuck to the trail. That's that's foresight for you. But that's all right. <laughs> we'll uh we'll make a, a day out of this episode anyways. Alright, I believe this is all breakable ice. It's mostly water. Wow, that just... ...stopped us blindly. That was, that was actually a pretty hard hit. I'm surprised that didn't, uh... ...didn't cause us any damage. Do I have... no. No. There's that one. I guess that will help a little bit. Now the downside with this truck is we don't have chain tires on it, so we're uh, we're gonna have to see. Whoops! Maybe I should focus on the road. Um. Oh yes, I forgot this was all uphill. All right, let's try it. Yeah, we've got that point. I guess that will work. Will it work? It should. Yeah, we got the next winch point.
Okay. Somehow, okay, if we get these tires on, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> we can uh, attach the winch from the rear. I'm tempted. Uh, doesn't look like we can reach that. All right, let's attach just the winch from here. Oops. Yeah, you know what? Let's go that side. Did that not? Uh-oh. No! <laughs> well, that was fun. Let's try this again. <clears throat> I feel like we got hosed because we, uh... We didn't have that winch point. Come on. Where is it? There's only three winch points. Ugh. Game. All right, let's try this again. Uh, we did it before we can do it again. Go. Up we go again. Okay. Ah, uh, you know what? We should be able to go. There we go, now we're... Ah, we, we got a little ways, okay. Release the winch. Attach the winch. There's our point. See, last time it didn't want to give us that point. Alright. There we go. That's how you gotta do it. And it, yeah, definitely helps not to be in low minus. <laughs> we're actually, we're actually being pulled backwards. All right. So we burnt through uh, quite a bit of fuel doing that, but we've got plenty in tow, tow so. Yeah, I think I'll take the ice road. This should be interesting. Just gonna be... Break. Yep. Release your wheels. Come on, there you go. Just nice and slow. Okay, I'm glad we have chains on the other truck. Oh, uh, well, that was close. How we didn't lose it there, I, I have no clue. I feel like we were going fast enough to roll it. All right. We should be out. I think we're out of the, the thick of the woods. We've got a couple of... Uh, Random spots for trees, if you want to call it that. Apparently, 
This dip in the road is uh, way too steep for us. Come on, seriously? Oh, I guess I guess there is a boulder in the way. I guess. There's winch points. There's plenty of them. Almost there. Almost there. But it probably would have been easier to go around this little hill. Come on. The fuel tanker is just getting absolutely annihilated. Uh, we've wedged ourselves in. Let's detach the trailer. Let's let it fall. Come on. Oh, no. Of course not. Oh, nice. I like the little imprint left in the snow. I've never... <laughs> I've never seen that before. Alright. Uh... Yeah, we should be that one right there. Alright, well I guess since it's upright, let's go ahead and hook back up. There we go. Look, crisis averted. And uh... The tanker's just got a little bit of mud on it. It's fine. That shouldn't be cause for concern. It... It would be kind of a cool feature if the uh, trailers did take damage. Uh, is it better to take the ice? I'm gonna say it is. Let's take the ice. We don't have chains. We can't get up and down these hills. I probably could have taken the ice way sooner. Actually, whereabouts could I have taken the ice? Uh, that looks a little iffy. And then you've got the soft spot here, so... As long as we don't fall through, we should be okay. Which is what every ice fisherman said ever. Alright, now remember, this was a nightmare. <laughs> this truck is just a little bit wider than the path that we have to take. So hopefully we can uh, line up better. Okay, we're good there. Trailer should follow with no problems. And oh, oh, oh! We might lose the trailer. Nope, it stayed on. Perfect. Uh, now how do we get up here? Oh, that's right. We gotta go way down there, don't we? Hmm. That's alright. Leave the trail is actually right there. Now that I now I can see it. Okay, let's actually go ahead and refuel. Oh. 
And we're stuck. Maybe we shouldn't try to uh, mount that rock. Slow down here because it looks like we might. Yeah. Kind of figured we were going to bottom out there. What? Why did that look so weird? <laughs> For a moment I thought I had crossed back over the river somehow and I, I don't know. I was just expecting the map to be facing south and not be fa facing north. Uh, so where are we as far as this truck? We are here. So let's put the marker there. We gotta go around the airport. We gotta go over a bridge. That's right, we've got that shoddy bridge to go over. Hopefully, hopefully it's intact enough to where we can get over it. If not, we'll have to find a way around. Uh, let's avoid the road. This truck does very well off-road, so... Where we're going, we don't need any roads. Uh, where are we going to, by the way? I suppose... I mean, there is a fuel tanker here. I totally forgot about that, but we can't... We can't move that one. What truck? What truck is this? Oh, the Warthog. Okay. I think that's for a mission, so... We'll, uh... Gladly leave that one there for now. We're gonna, we're gonna not worry about the property damage that we're causing. Don't think anyone's gonna come after us for that. Although this runway is nice and uh, nice and cleared, so uh, we want to go. Yeah, I guess we're gonna. Not really sure why I went the way I went. I mean, I guess technically I did cut out a little bit. So let's go back up to the main road and then leave that way. New truck discovered. Is that not... Can we change to that truck? Oh. That's all we had to do. No, no missions, no, no nothing. Alright, well let's uh... Let's change back to our uh, main objective because I want to get this over with. I think we've been on this logging for three episodes now. And yeah, we need it. We need to get this done. This is, uh, this is redonkulous. This is, uh, this is taking way more time than it should. Yes, yes. If you were watching, it would have been faster to drive this truck back. Go get more logs and then bring them. In fact, I guarantee you I could have done that in one episode. The last episode. But no, no, we are, uh... 
Is, is this the shoddy bridge? Am I at the shoddy bridge? Because that doesn't look too bad. I am. Um, it looks like the developers forgot to change the minimap. And I don't see why they couldn't have had it. Watch, this side's gonna collapse the second I drive on it. No? Oh good. I, I don't understand how... I don't understand how those beams are working, but... I guess it's Russia. Somehow they can... They can get them to work. Alright, anyways, where are we? We should be able to see our truck. Um, we're definitely gonna have to go this way. Oops. Oh, that, that path is definitely blocked off. Okay, let's try this again. Turn your wheels and then accelerate. There we go. Alright, and... Yeah, we're gonna stick to this side of the river. Um, all of this side of the river is breaking, so yay. Maybe this is a good spot to leave the trailer for now. Let's go, let's go put it back on solid ice. There we go. And let's, uh... Detach the trailer, not delete it. Yeah, we, we've got plenty of winch, so... If necessary, we can get ourselves out of trouble. Does high gear work better for breaking ice? Nope. But the winch does. Alright, let's uh, get a little backwards. There we go. Okay, so we will not be going this way. <laughs> this has become a very bad route as well. Uh, but yes, I see where you guys are saying stay away from this place for as long as you can. Well, the good news is I definitely know what path we're going to be taking from now on. And it's going to be far, far away from this river. Oh wow, look at that. You're that stuck. Come on, truck. Come on. Now if I wanted to, I could wedge myself in front of that telephone pole or power pole, whatever you want to call it. Really? Attach to the truck, please. Nope, the truck. Nope, the truck. Yeah, I'm guessing I'm out of... I'm guessing I'm out of range. Uh, yep, just slightly. Is anything moving? Yeah, we are. We're definitely moving. All right. Let's go ahead and turn around. This, uh, this snow is starting to look like, well, 
absolute slush. We don't want to go <laughs> that way. We will break through. Let's uh, let's do this because I want the back end of the truck to move. There we go. See, there's there's fun little ways you can uh, make your truck do things. I don't know why it disconnected. Can we not? Uh We still can't get the uh, the P12 out, can we? All right, so what we're gonna do is this. We're gonna use these trees to get the back end of the truck locked into there. We're gonna stop the engine, change the trucks. We are then going to attach this winch to that part of the truck. And we're gonna pull. And we're gonna get this thing out. Um, we gotta be careful. <laughs> it looked like she was going to uh, tip on us there. Come on. Main part of the truck's out. See if we can uh, There we go. Now we're moving. Um are we moving or are we just slowly sliding? Oh, the trucks are moving, so... This may be the case where you slowly inch this one forward. <clears throat> oh, not that one. I want the truck. And then we can... Yeah, there we go. Now that truck's moving. We're gonna we're gonna part all the pole. The logs out of the water yet? Yeah, they should be. We're gonna go this route. I believe the ice that the tanker is on is solid. Which means we should be able to. Should be able to drive on it. <laughs> we should. At least get to that rock. Will that rock help us? Probably. This this snow is thick and slushy. This is like the uh, the world's worst mud. Alright. Some grip. Can we have some grip, please? Any grip? There we go. There's some grip. Now, I think we can just scoot through here. Am I too far away to refuel from that? No, I'm not. Perfect. Fill that up. Let's fill the P16 up. And we will come back for that trail. There trailer, whatchamacallit, fuel tanker, there's there's the right word for it. We will come back for that um, 
in no time. Because I think that truck is fine. I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to do this one, but uh, we're going to figure it out somehow. Probably, probably do a, a lot of mowing down of trees, or at least we'll take down the trees that are here. And we're... Can I winch it from the front? No, I can't, but I can get the... Do that. Now I can winch it from the front. Means I should be able to connect. Oops. Trailer is too far away. No kidding. Alright, well, we can fix that. Perfect. Alright, let's uh, stop the engine, change trucks, fire up this big boy. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and skip to morning. And uh, yeah, let's attach the winch. Oops, we gotta go. I forgot. We gotta go around this uh, monstrosity of metal because because it, this area wasn't hard enough. They've decided to make it even harder. Are you kidding me? I'm already stuck. All right. Well, <laughs> let's uh, let's change trucks real quick. Ooh, I am stuck. I, uh, I like how that tr truck is still trying to go in reverse. Am I still attached to it? I'm not even attached to it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we got a runaway truck, guys. Uh, let's change trucks. Ooh. That could have been bad. That could have, that could have put this truck in the ditch or in the river. That would have been uh, no bueno. <laughs> that would have been absolutely horrible. All right, but I think we're now on the free road, so uh, we have. I, I didn't think it was gonna let me switch. Should easily be able to get this truck out now. We'll go nice and wide here. Avoid whatever... Whatever was causing us issues here. Alright, and uh, let's change back. Go ahead and uh, throw our winch on, because we might as well bring this truck back with us. Oh boy, I get to go through all these trees, thanks. There we go. Alright, and I know the mouse... The mouse and keyboard uh, make that very easy to pick where you want to go, but it can be quite annoying still. Oh good, we got um, we got stuck on something. Come on, you can do it, truck. Just, just these little tiny obstacles in our way now. Like this, this hill of ice, not a problem. Uh, the little dip in the road, maybe a problem. Probably not for this truck. Shouldn't be too bad of a problem.
Is there a, uh, does anyone know if there's an ice hill that's steep enough where pain tires don't help you get up? I, I haven't come across one yet. Um, there probably is one. I believe there's like a test map or something that somebody made that has a pretty steep ice hill. That probably uh, has one, but I don't think there's an in-game one, is there? Let me know in the comments if you uh, know of one. And while you're in the comments, go ahead and, and hit the thumbs up like thumbs up button if you're liking the video and if you haven't subscribed please go ahead and do so because it does help up the channel and yeah we are uh we are in snowrunner <laughs> if you guys didn't know that um i believe i said it at the beginning of the video so go back and rewatch the entire thing that's what you have to do if you didn't realize that we were in snowrunner for some reason, my brain said to say we're in SnowRunner there for a moment. I don't, I don't know why. Sometimes I don't understand my brain. Anyways, uh, am I on the right track? Yes, I am. For some reason this map is, when you first look at the map, if it's slightly rotated differently, your uh, perspective is all off. It's, it's very strange. We are getting pushed now by the, uh, the Zeeks behind us, so that's a, that's a nice helpful hand. And uh, yeah, I can, I can tell you guys right now, we will be selling the P16 and the P12. Uh, like I said, they're, they're probably good. Uh, logging trucks for Michigan. Uh, maybe... No, I, I, I don't think they'll do very well in Alaska either. Uh, but they do work in Michigan. They're not too bad. But there's just... There's too much... There's too many things here that uh, makes them a little under... powered, so... They're, uh, they're definitely getting sold when we uh, get back to civilization. If you can call it that. Once we get back to the garage. I know, I'm sure you guys are disappointed. You probably enjoyed me, enjoyed watching me suffer <laughs> the way I have. And I'm, I'm absolutely fine trying it, but I, I don't think these trucks are gonna be, they're definitely not late game trucks. Uh, now the truck I do want to try is apparently the all-wheel drive is in this area is the uh, twin steer That truck is perfect for doing Tasks and loads and things of that nature because it the flatbed of the truck holds four storage slots, so uh, And then you can throw a trailer on behind it I think I'm pretty sure you can it's got to be a, a tongue trailer though, it can't be a, like a fifth wheel. But I do want to try that thing out because that looked like it would have been... That would have been fun. Um, and see, that's that's what I don't get is that... That truck would have worked great in Michigan. Except the all-wheel drive is here. So I don't know if they want you to do... We are stuck on something. And that something is a Pella power line. Uh, I don't know if they want you to travel to other maps just to find the uh, the upgrades for said trucks and then go back and use them in Michigan. Because I wouldn't be surprised if the twin steer is horrible here. I don't know if there might be a map in the future that it will be decent at. Um, but yeah, it just, it just would have made more sense if the all-wheel drive and the differential, and I think the raised suspension, even if the raised suspension wasn't in Michigan, I feel like the all-wheel drive and, and the drivetrain upgrade should be in on that map. And then you can actually use the truck. Because uh, there's so many trucks out there that you try, you realize you don't like them because they don't have this or they don't have that, and then you just don't use them. And I, 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 I think that's a shame, but, uh, anyways. 
there we go. Okay, this is this is the type of road this truck was made for. A nice snow or dirt, hard packed, you know, even asphalt it was made for, obviously. I mean, what vehicle isn't, right? Um, but yeah, it was it was made for these type of roads, not necessarily ice driving or off-roading or trailblazing, whatever you want to call it. Um, now we do have a large, large set of boulders in our way here. I think if we just hang to the left, we can go around them. Maybe pop them out of the way. Um, or get stuck on them. Oh, that's, that's the nice thing. They do, they do offer grip if you can get them under your tire. I knew this was going to get stuck. I knew it was going to get stuck on that stupid power line. Uh, I should have called it out beforehand. Alright, well you know what, let's just take this truck as far as we can go. Which is probably down around the bend. Wow, that reminded me. <laughs> wow, down around the, saying down around the bend. Honestly, reminded me of the Speedway commercial growing up as a kid. Yeah, I know. I'm just, I have my eyes closed right now. <laughs> oh look, we are, we did slowly come off that rock, so. I, uh, yeah. I was rubbing my eyes there and I, because I knew I was stuck. And I can not believe it. But, uh, yeah, I just got my finger down on the trigger and it actually pulled itself off, so. Alright, we gotta be a little careful here. This truck is a little bit narrower than... Oh, perfect. Let's, let's go with low. There we go. Um, yep. We just dropped the front wheel off. Alright, I don't know what the back of that trailer is doing and I don't want to look. Alright, but we are safely across. And I believe we gotta go this way. Uh, we could probably go back to auto. Yeah, we'll we'll drive around along the ice for a while and then join back up to the road. Oops, let's uh, go back to the let's go back to the P12. Let's shut it off so we don't waste gas. Uh this Yep, I totally left the Zeke's running. It's alright, at least that's at least this truck has all the fuel, so. I have nothing to worry about there. And I was uh, I was also told in the comments, speaking of fuel, that when you're in hard mode and you buy a fuel tanker, the thing doesn't have gas in it. You have to go to a gas station to get gas. And I'm just thinking to myself, where is there a fuel station here? Like, what if your map doesn't have a fuel station? Then I was trying to think, are there any maps that don't have fuel stations? I think there are. So their hard mode is like hard as hell mode. <laughs> like, that would be insane. I get that you have to pay for it. I get that you don't get to sell them back. So whatever trailer you buy you you keep because you can't sell them back which honestly would probably keep me from uh just leaving trailers randomly strewn about the place because i look at the fact that okay i can either spend six thousand or, or ten thousand dollars whatever the trailer price is or i can just go pick it up and then drag it back and spend an hour doing that and uh believe it or not Spending the 10 grand is totally worth it. So, I don't know how we get across there without falling in.
but we did it. And we can just slowly pull up behind the uh, P12 and switch back to that. Uh, we can start the engine. We can attach. <clears throat> yeah, there's so many little things they could have done with this game. Uh, they could have incorporated some type of starting. So if the truck's sitting out in the cold, why are we now stuck? What's going on back there? Uh, but if the truck's sitting out for a long time, it might not want to start. And so you have to... You kind of have to incorporate some type of repair system where you either have items on you or you have to buy them and you have to make sure you bring them with you and you have to repair said starter in the middle of the, the, the country you know same thing with tires you know maybe there's a tire pad instead of instead of replacing the entire tire unless it's too far gone uh, obviously like say 50% damage it starts leaking air and then you know, 100% damage, obviously you need, you know, the rims bent, so you, get, you, you have to get a whole new tire system, right? That's that's kind of how I see that, and the, the patch system at 50% error, you can just apply. Uh, are we going to tip over here? Maybe. Oh, we should be okay. Yeah, we should be okay. Uh, but yeah, just, just little things like that, right? Like, I think it would be... I think it would be great for, um, whatchamacallit, just, just the little add-on to gameplay, so, oh, ooh, that was a pretty big hit. Alright, uh, whoop, 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 we, uh, we have a little bit of an issue with that truck. Uh, didn't even realize my punch came undone. Nope, uh, we got a... Probably fix that by getting into it. Um, change trucks. That's that's what I wanted. Let's get. Ah, oh, perfect. You know, it wasn't really that big of a deal if this truck rolled over, but um, we are sliding quite a bit, so that makes me a little nervous. This is the truck that matters if it rolls over. Uh, let's see here. Attach winch. There we go. Alright. I think this is the last of it. That little snow puddle thing, whatever you want to call it, a snow puddle. I've never, I've never heard anyone call it a snow puddle, but that's what we'll call it. I think that's the last of it, because this is all just uphill battles of ice, so this is literally going to be just keep your foot down and roll through everything. Oh, that's right, that truck doesn't like that little dip there. <laughs> Alright, it's it's got the help to get through, so that shouldn't be a problem. Now I'm hoping I'm hoping we should be able to get at least to the uh, whatchamacallit shop, the, uh, the warehouse to drop these off. I did plan on going to the garage because apparently it's, it's to the left of where we are at the warehouse. So, uh, And I think all you have to do is discover it, or at least that's what I've been told. There aren't any missions or anything that you have to do, no deliveries that have to be made it so that should that should help us out a little bit we can get our scout vehicles over here we can start doing tasks of that nature um you know those types of things so and i'm actually not gonna lie i kind of think i might just not scout this map i know it's against everything i've ever done in snowrunner and i got to a new map but i i feel like we've uh we've seen a lot of this map uh, 
And I also feel like there's a lot more to see, so it, it's one of those things where it's like, uh, how do I want to do it? Because I'm not going to lie, the last map, it would have been nice to do a lot of the tasks while we were, while, while we were unlocking the map. But because I just went out and scouted it, I drove everywhere and then went back and realized, oh yeah, this, a lot of these tasks would have just sent me all over the map. So I would like to try to do two birds with one stone kind of thing. Uh, but I'm not sure. Maybe this map doesn't have that type of setup. Or maybe it's even worse. Who knows? I, I have no clue. And that's, that's part of the fun. So, all right, what do we got here? We've got a little bit of a uh, drop here. There's our drop off point. And I'm sure if I scanned this really well, I could see that uh, the garage was somewhere there, but it looks pretty well hidden, so. All right, we're just gonna lightly roll down this hill, because we've got chains and all the control we need, so. There we go. Look at that. We've uh, finally made it. It took us three episodes to do this, but we finally made it. Um, I shouldn't say that because this looks like it may be a mess. In fact, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave the Zeeks there. And uh, hold on one second, because I'm getting a phone call and I have to answer it. So. Uh, sir, you have an urgent call. All right, important phone call taken care of. Everything's great, if you guys are wondering. <laughs> nothing uh, nothing that uh, is bad, so. Um, except for the fact that we are slowly stuck in this pit. And for some reason, yeah, it doesn't want to attach to that. It just kept wanting to go to the log next to us. Which is another big, ah, uh, I, I, I wish they would have like an auto change, like if it, I get that it would attach to that log first, but then if I do it quick enough and I disconnect and reconnect, it should automatically pick a different point because clearly I don't want that point. Anyways, we are, we are out of the mud <laughs> and, uh, we are going to get this truck dropped off. Is it? No, it's... It is this point. Yes, I almost screwed up. I thought the next point. I thought it was in the next one, but that's the trailer store. All right, we are seconds away from being done with this men. Mi bleh, this mission. <clears throat> and I hope we never have to do another logging mission on this map. But I have a feeling. <laughs> I have a feeling we are. Really, really, this. This game should have been called Mud or uh, Log Runner, because uh, I feel like we do more logging than we deal with snow. So, but anyway, we got sixteen thousand eight hundred dollars, so that was uh, definitely worth it. We did get to oh look at that exactly what I was talking about. Picture to remember, visit all those zones. That's how we're gonna scout this. We're gonna do tasks to scout. So. Um, Let's go ahead and drop off this trailer. We will, like I said before, we are selling these trucks, the P16 and P12. Uh, they worked. Uh, that's probably the one positive thing I could say. Um, we did get the job done. Unfortunately, it wasn't with the P16 because that one didn't work at all. But the P12 did manage to get it done. A little bit of help from the Zeeks because uh, if we didn't have that, we would still be stuck in that ice. So. Uh, let's go ahead and drop this off. Because that's another, what is that, another $14,000? Something like that? Yeah, $14,100. That's, uh, that's a hefty price to pay for a trailer. Um, hey, I'm going to take, I think, I think this is... Not gonna lie, I think that's the garage. That's what my gut's saying. So we are going to go ahead and 
try to find said garage because I want to unlock it. And if it's just easy as discovering it and then that unlocks it, then we're good. If not, uh, if there is some type of task and somebody was misinformed, that would be my audience. Um, if they are misinformed, then we will uh, obviously do that next episode because I believe we are we are stuck in just snow. Really? Okay. Well, that's a good thing we have a winch. Uh, but we will we will worry about that next episode because we are well over. Pretty sure we are over our hour. <laughs> but uh, that's okay. Seriously? Thank you. Um, I thought we would have enough fuel. Okay, well, guess what? This truck is inadequate of getting over these rocks. So let's, uh, let's recover it. Why not? And... Oh, I hate to do it, but I'm going to call this an episode. Um, let's go ahead and go to the store. I think we have to retain it and then go into the storage and we are going to sell it. We're going to get $179,500 back for it. So that should put us back over our 1.5 million, but just barely, just barely. And then, uh, what else? Ah, uh, you know what? The... The P-16 must still be over in Idramabra, however you say it. Where is my P-16? Did I already sell it? I feel like I didn't sell it. Airplane fragments recovered, both armored vehicles retrieved. Okay, we apparently have to do that in Idmadra. Um, all right. Well, I don't know where the P6... Did I already sell the P16? That seems kind of strange. Well, let's uh, jump into the... We'll jump into the uh, Zeke's and we will uh, we will call this an episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a little stressful, but we did get the... Uh, we got the job done and that's the important part. So... Uh, we will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.